the most you will ever pay on a $10 order is gonna be six cents, which ends up being like 16 times less fees than we were paying in that previous example where Coinbase was charging us a dollar. What's up YouTube? So ever since Coinbase announced that they would be sunsetting Coinbase Pro and replacing it with Coinbase Advanced Trade, I've gotten a ton of questions from people here on the channel and over on my Twitter account asking me what is this whole new Coinbase Advanced Trade thing and how can I use it and what are the differences between normal Coinbase and Coinbase Advanced Trade? And as far as Coinbase Coinbase Advanced Trade goes, there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is that Coinbase Advanced Trade is super simple to use, even from the stock Coinbase app that you probably have on your mobile device. The bad news is that most users of Coinbase still don't know about Advanced Trade, and so when they're trading on their mobile devices, they're actually losing a lot of money and fees. So next, let's just go ahead and jump into the Coinbase app here on our mobile phones, and I'll show you how you can be getting probably like 90% off most of your trading activities here on Coinbase. So first, let's just go ahead and open the Coinbase app, and if you you've never used advanced trade before, this is probably what your screen looks like. So if you scroll down here to top assets, you would see that if you click on Bitcoin, you could click on trade. If you wanted to buy some Bitcoin, you would click on buy. And then here, let's say I wanted to buy $10 of Bitcoin. I would review my order and I would see that the Coinbase fee here is about a dollar or a 10% total fee. That's a really, really high fee that I'm not comfortable paying and you shouldn't be comfortable paying either, especially when all you have to do to get lower fees is just go ahead and click on back here all the way back to the trading screen and then up at the top where it says trade you can click on that up there and click on advanced trade and so now when we're here in this advanced trading menu all we're going to do is click on the same BTC USD market and we can kind of ignore these fancy graphs and charts if we're not sure what they mean and we can just go ahead down at the bottom and click on buy next we're given the option to create either a limit order or a market order basically what a market order means is I want to buy it right now no matter what the price is whereas a limit order is saying maybe I'm only comfortable buying if the price crashes to 29,000 or whatever price that you want to specify. So most people are probably thinking, why don't I just create a market order? It seems like that's a lot faster. Unfortunately, the fees for market orders are just slightly higher than the fees for limit orders. So if you are trying to get the best bang for your buck, I suggest you do a limit order. Next, we have these really helpful buttons down here like mid and bid and 1% down and 5% down and 10% down. And basically what this is doing is it's helping you automatically set the limit price for this is the price that I want to purchase Bitcoin at. And of course, you could always highlight this for yourself and just type in your own number. If I wanted to type in, you know, 15,000, I could delete what's there and type in 15,000. Or I could just go ahead and click on the 1% down button, which is 1% below the current trading price of Bitcoin. Or if I wanted to get a limit order that fills even faster than that, I click on this bid button. And you can see in real time as the bid changes, my limit price is also changing, which is really, really interesting. And a really cool piece of functionality that Coinbase Advanced Trade is offering. So let's go ahead and leave the limit price at the bid for now because we want this limit order to fill as fast as possible. And next we can go ahead down here to total and decide to buy 10 US dollars of Bitcoin. And now we'll go ahead and click on preview buy order. And we'll see that the estimated fee is about six cents. And if we go ahead and click into this, we'll see that our current fees are 0.4% for maker orders and 0.6% for taker orders. And so 0.4% is like 25 times lower than the 10% fee that we were getting earlier. So that's a really, really great fee. So let's go ahead and click got it and then place buy order. So now it's saying success, our buy order has been placed. And now if we click on done, we can click this back arrow up here and look at our open orders. And to see our open orders, we're going to see orders down here at the very bottom. And we can go ahead and click on that. And we'll see that we currently have a limit buy for BTC USD open at the price of 29,246. So now if we click into this, we can see all of those order details that we saw just a minute ago. And we can go ahead and view the market if we want to see what the current price of Bitcoin is trading at right now. And then obviously we also have the ability to cancel the order. I'm going to wait for the order to fill and then I'll meet you guys back here in the app. All right, guys, so it took about two minutes for my order to fill there. And so now obviously on the open orders tab, you're not gonna see anything. But if we come up here to the top on order history, we'll see this exact same limit order that we saw earlier, but now the limit order has been filled. And so now we'll see down here that our fee on our $10 order, it actually came out to a $9.98 order was only four cents of fees. And the fee is sort of uncertain. It was either going to be 0.4 cents or 0.6 cents because Coinbase is unsure when you post your limit order, whether your limit order will be filled as a maker, as in you're providing liquidity to Coinbase, or whether your limit order will be filled instead as a taker where you're extracting liquidity from Coinbase's exchange. If that was super confusing for you and you have no idea what I just said, the bottom line is the most you will ever pay on a $10 order in that Coinbase advanced trade workflow that we just went through is gonna be six cents, which ends up being like 16 times less fees than we were paying in that previous example 
example where Coinbase was charging us a dollar. The final thing I wanna show you guys today is if we head all the way back up to regular trading, the trading that most people are seeing when they're opening up the Coinbase app, let's say we wanted to buy some Bitcoin and we can go ahead and click on trade here and we'll click on buy. Up here in the top right, it says one-time order. And if we click on that, it's now showing us that we have the ability to create recurring purchases on either a daily, a weekly, a bi-weekly or a monthly purchase schedule. And so if we go ahead and click on that, we can say we want to buy Bitcoin and we want to be spending 10 US dollars on our Bitcoin every day. But we'll see again here on this screen that it wants to charge us $1 for every single one of those $10 purchases that we make. And unfortunately, if we come all the way back to advanced trade and we head back into BTC USD, you'll see that when we click on buy, there's no ability for us here to create that recurring buy schedule where we're dollar cost averaging daily or weekly or monthly into any of the different assets that are available on Coinbase. And so unfortunately, if you wanted to get really low fees and make recurring purchases on Coinbase Advanced Trade, that's not possible through the mobile app, but it is actually a problem that we solved right here on the channel. And so if you wanna set up a recurring buy schedule for yourself and also take advantage of the ridiculously good fee structure that we got in this video here today, go ahead and check out this video right over here. Like this video and share it with any of your friends that are still paying these ridiculously high fees on Coinbase. I love you all. See you next week.